Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter run for now with Borussia Mönchengladbach uh, as we are about to do our end of season wrap up, our awards and all that kind of stuff, and then probably get out of Dodge. We're probably going to leave the team so that we can just kind of focus on getting us another job in either Spain, France, or Italy, because that's, that's what we got left, right? We're done in Germany. But uh, also somewhere in the middle of this, probably in a separate episode, but just kind of let you know it does happen at the same time, we will be doing some of the World Cup action with Spain. So depending on the order, I'm not sure if this will come after that I show you that or before. It depends on where the spoilers are, but uh, you guys will know as those come out. But let's get into the episode and see this award ceremony for a extremely good season. All right, here we are for the 2033-34 end of season review. As you can see, I mean, guys, you guys remember, we got four trophies this year. We got the Bundesliga trophy. We got the European Champions Cup trophy. We got the European Super Cup trophy. And we got the Euro uh, German Super Cup trophy. So four total trophies. Not a bad way to, to have a crazy season. I didn't know if we were going to get it done, guys. But we did it. And we had a little bit of help. But we did it. We did what we needed to do. And we had an incredibly high goal differential. So all things said, it was a great season. Here are the new arrivals. Um, let's see. Let's go through this real quick. Gutierrez is only a C+. Plus. I mean, he was he did pretty good for us. I mean, he 17 appearances, 13 substitutes, 18 goals. 18 goals and 17 appearances is not a bad way to take care of business, right? Uh, then we brought Martinez in here. He was only a C+. Plus, but again... 36 years old, the guy still put up 17 goals for 36 years old and seven assists. Not a bad way to run things as well. I mean, I guess these guys were almost identical in overall stats. Uh, and this guy was a third of the price. But Gutierrez is definitely a guy for the future. So I think the team will be set up for quite some time. Mason Mount, another older guy that came in here, got 12 goals himself with 16 assists on 42 appearances. I mean, he played outstandingly. I mean... <laughs> We paid so little for these two guys, and they did a really good job for us. Uh, we got Shunin in here. Uh, he had eight appearances with 11 um, substitutes. I think we ultimately sent him on or something like that. Didn't we? we just didn't really play him that much uh, once we moved formations around. But he can still get a couple goals and some assists. Uh, Gibbons coming in here at a B- minus from Newcastle alongside Mount. He, we played a lot for him, though. Uh, 34 appearances, five substitutes, four goals for him. Uh, as well as 11 assists, so not bad B-minus action for him, even though we paid quite a bit more money for him than any of these other guys. In fact, we paid more money for him than all these other guys combined. Uh, there's Miguel Hernandez, a B for that one. 24-year-old uh, striker coming in here for 5 mil. He only had a few appearances, but still picked up some stuff. Uh, we'll see if he can develop into something as time goes by as well. Cordero getting an A-plus for him. 20-year-old wonder kid, only 9 mil for this guy. 36 appearances. We used him all over the place. He was our central uh, center back, obviously. Um, he got a goal himself as well as a couple assists, but he played really, really well as a central defender role. We'll see if he can keep that up. Another wonder kid here from Jay Sung. Not quite as good. We actually played, obviously, a lot more money for him. Although, I think between the two, if you add these up and divide them in half and paid about, what, 50-something mil, you know, each for each, if you look at it that way, uh, I think we've got two really strong center backs for the future. Uh, did we overpay for him? Sure. But we so drastically underpaid for him. I think it will balance itself out. And I think you're still going to get two really good players out of these guys. Uh, then we got Michelini, uh, coming in here as a midfielder, uh, 25 years old, only a few appearances for him. He really didn't do much for us. Didn't really see much. He just wasn't the greatest. Honestly, uh, we paid a lot for him. Unfortunately, pr pr very much overpaid for him in my opinion. But again, a couple of these other guys, I think we underpaid for potentially. Um, I don't know. We'll see how some of these other guys will develop, but Paid a little bit more for him than we used him for, but maybe maybe they can do something with him. Maybe they can sell him on. We'll see. Transfers out. Anything here? Um, anybody here that we care about big time? Georgie, you know, whatever. Johnny, a C, Zazi. I mean, we didn't really use Mafi. There's there's another guy, C, that we used a little bit. Uh, Diaria, C. Brian Gill, C. So, yeah, I mean, a few. I mean, the biggest one being Zazi here, um, our attacking midfielder, but... He didn't do much for us last season, or I, I, at least he was worth selling on and getting some money for. So there's that. Loans out. Nothing too crazy to speak of there. 
season results, obviously. First, it was our final position. Average home attendance was 97% full. Not bad. Uh, kind of a weird... <laughs> the, the overriding there of the two things. But uh, Lacqua was the competition the top goal scorer. Uh, so good stuff from Lacqua there. B minus, the, obviously the board was very happy with us and our performance. As you can see, we won it on goal differential, but a very, very strong goal differential uh, for sure. Um, European Championship Cup, obviously we won this. A plus, top goal scores were Greiger and Taylor in this one. 97% attendance as well. Only lost the first game against Chelsea. And then everything else after that was... Pretty heavy wins. I mean, Barcelona was only a one nothing, but I mean, pretty significant wins the entire way through. And the loss to Chelsea was only by one goal. So, and I wasn't even trying. That was part of the reason why we lost is because I was doing some rotation in a lot of these games. And so there you go. I mean, <laughs> just a pretty dominant performance overall. European Super Cup. Obviously, we won this one. There was just a single game against Hertha Berlin, our arch nemesis. But we did come out with the win there, four to one. Um, I mean, the board didn't really care about this, but. We got it anyway, and obviously we played some rotation in this game, if I remember correctly. That's why Gutierrez got on there with a couple goals. Um, the DFB Pokal, the German Cup, we didn't really try. Maybe we should have. Maybe we could have gotten five trophies, but it's okay. I'm not that worried about it. Gregor actually picking up seven goals in this game. Board wasn't super happy, but they've got to be happy with the rest of this, so I'm not too worried about it. And then, of course, the German Super Cup against RB Leipzig there. 4-2 to win. Lachua getting a couple goals, and uh, yeah. Not too bad. Really, really strong season. Biggest win was our 11-1 win against Hansa here. Um, match to remember was a 6-0 stomping against Union Berlin. And then the goal of the season was in our game against FC Kuhn here. Um, looks like it was actually the very first goal. The two-minute goal. So let's go see that goal real quick. From Schmidt. Watch goals. Five goals in this game. Here's the first one. This is the goal of the season. Schmidt with the ball here. Pretty good goal. Pretty good goal. I'll give him credit for that one. That, that was pretty awesome. And there's a couple more. We'll go ahead and watch the rest of these. Why not? Carlos over to Lautaro. Oh, bounces around. Sarmiento picks that one up. Great stuff there. Uh, of course, then we got a penalty shot from Lautaro. Then we get probably a quick takeaway here. Greiger picking it up. Gets across to... Oh, tries to get it to Taylor. Taylor does get it to Lotaro. And it's Lotaro picking up a goal there. And then finally... There's Lotaro again. He gets it up to Carlos. Carlos is going to get it back across probably to... Lotaro. His hat trick. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, there we go. Good, good game. Good. Just... I mean, that was in November too. That was halfway through the season. Good way to play your halfway point um we did gain a little bit of reputation so we were four and a half before now we're five star pretty awesome no new sponsorships that we can see um overall though broadcast revenue went up a little bit the other two went down ever so slightly not really worth talking about competition prize money went up by quite a bit almost double and then we got a little bit more match day uh shirt sold griger was number one okay fair enough jay sung is actually on this list wow i guess he's just got a lot of uh I think they did talk about that though, bringing him on because he had a lot, because he's, he's, you know, from Korea and we were able to kind of tap into that market, you know, and, and really get some, some popular shirt sales from that market. Uh, obviously Lucas is in there, Taylor and Lockwell, of course. So not bad there. How we lined up. Uh, interesting that this is how it says we lined up because this is not how we lined up, but our best 11 was obviously Andrade and go Schmidt on the left, Gibbons on the right, Cordero, Lucas in the middle. Sounds about right. Mount in front of them. And then... Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. This is how we ended up lining up. I, 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 this is this is how we swapped to this, didn't we? Uh, we had Sarmiento on the left, Carlos on the right. I was thinking we had the three strikers across on the front, but that is not how we actually ended up. Sarmiento, Carlos, Taylor, and Gregor and Lockwood. Yep, pretty good setup there. Uh, Club Awards. Obviously, well, it looks like I got a manager... Players manager of the year. That's, there's, that's pretty cool. Fans player of the season was Lockwood. Young player of the season was Cordero. Signing of the season was Mount. I mean, he came in and did some stuff for a 35-year-old guy. Goal of the season was from Schmidt. We saw, Schmidt, we saw that. Uh, top goal scorer was Greiger with 32 goals. 30-year-old getting 32 goals. Not bad. Most assists, Sarmiento at 23. Uh, most player of the match awards was Lockwood with 11. 
Highest average rating was Luck with 7.8. And most passes completed was Cordero with 73 passes. Uh, I will say this. We had some ex excellent 30-plus-year-olds, right? Mount, Greiger, Sarmiento, and, and some others, obviously. Um, but we also have some excellent youngsters. So this team's got some good players. I, I, obviously, I can't imagine Mount's going to be around for very much longer. If he gets another year, if they get another year out of him, I'll be surprised. They should still have another year or two, probably a couple years for out of Greiger and Sarmiento, hopefully. And then all these youngsters will continue to develop. So I think they're set up for a good, good stuff for the future. But we'll see. Uh, oldest goal scorer, Martinez, obviously. He's almost 37 years old. Goodness. Uh, player of the match award, we saw that. That's an award record. Most assists by a player in the season, Sarmiento with 23 was a record. And most play goals by a player in a match, six goals from Greiger in one match. Crazy stuff. Here's competition awards. German footballer of the year was Lacqua. German players player of the year was Lacqua. Uh, European Champions Cup defender of the season was Lucas. Uh, goal 50 was Greiger. African defender of the year was Odalon. European Champions Cup midfielder of the season was Taylor. World under 21 footballer of the year was Jae Sung. Uh, Asian footballer of the year was Jae Sung. European golden boy was really... He's, surely he'll develop into something. He, he didn't do super great for us, but we didn't... We played Cordero a lot more than we played him, but I think he's got a lot of stuff ahead of him. So I think they'll still get their money's worth from, from him, hopefully. Uh, and then, of course, we got the German newcomer of the year, Cordero. All right, history in the making. Your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch, and such a feat didn't go unrewarded at our end-of-the-season awards ceremony. Once Borussia Mönchengladbach got rolling early in the season, it looked hard to stop them going on to this success. Not bad. Uh, they have been brilliant since day one. The early season football was a joy to watch, and they've... Des they're deserved champions. I, I would agree. I mean, it did get a little tight there at the end, but we played very, very strong. And I think it's less that we didn't... It's not that we didn't play well. It's that uh, uh, Hertha Berlin played really well as well. So we played well enough to win. Like I said, we looked at that before. Any other season in the in the last five years, 10 years maybe, we played well enough to win You know, outright with no trouble whatsoever. It's just Hertha Berlin was just right there neck and neck with us the whole time. All right. Well, that's that. Um, we do have the Spanish stuff coming up. I will, sh again, show you that in time. That's not going to be something we're gonna like looking at today. In fact, the next game for them is... I think it's in eight days or something like that. Let's see. I mean, just so we know kind of where we're at. Next game for them is coming up. Uh, there's a friendly against Canada. Who cares? First official game will be this one on the 16th against Cameroon. So, uh, we still got a little bit of time. We still got almost a month, so nothing to worry about there. Uh, a couple guys got left out. Just, it is what it is. You can only take 23, so we had to make some cuts somewhere. Best 11. Uh, Bruckner got into the best 11. Okay, I like that. He played, did some good stuff for us. And then Greiger, of course, Greiger, for sure. Um, but yeah, not too bad. There's Lacqua. Lucas, honestly, only two people actually in the best 11 that we played this season. The other people that we played this season are on the bench. There's Gregor, there's Bruckner. Uh, we don't care about where they're at now. We already looked at the season review. We don't care about the 2027 side because we weren't here. Overall performance, general performance, pretty good. Still not too great on the tackles one and the passing, but that might just be our uh, tactics, you know. Why is this not? There we go. Uh, I just seem to be low on both of those. And that just, again, that might be the way our tactics are set up. Go output. I mean, look at this. High quality shooting, strong defending. We wore the best of the best. Defending, pretty good. Uh, you know, about average basically for tackles one. Stop. Go. There we go. Uh, about average for blocks per game. A little bit below average, but not by much. Fouls made per game. We were basically the worst, it looks like. Uh, scoring, high scoring, high quality shooting. Again, best of the best by a long shot. And then our attacking, pretty much best in everything except, again, passing. So, not too surprising. Club vision, uh, I'm not going to negotiate anything. Well, just out of curiosity, what are they looking for? Develop players, sign players in Germany. Okay, work within the wage budget. I can see that being a thing they want to do. Increase commercial revenue, for sure. Uh, they want to qualify for the Champions Cup. I don't blame them. They want to reach the sem semifinal. Makes sense. Our contract actually in expires next season, but we're very likely going to uh, leave this season. And then they want to win the Bundesliga, continue to win the Bundesliga. So, yeah, we'll accept that. I hope they continue to do that. Squad dynamics, managerial support, dressing room atmosphere is super great. Um, I guess I'll come back to that here in a minute because it doesn't really matter what our team meeting says because, again, I'm not going to be here. 
Injury reports. That's quite a few injuries here and there, but we, we made it. We definitely made it through. Uh, the break, training season destination. Uh, where do I want them to go? It doesn't really matter. You know, how about y'all go to Italy? Because that's where we're, that's one of the places we're hoping to be heading to next. Uh, Champions Cup best goal was Bruckner. Okay. Congratulations on your award. Let's look at this goal. Champions Cup best goal from Bruckner. Is this it? Oh, this is going to be the other teams. Uh, let's go to the next match. We don't care about that one. We don't care about this one. So as soon as this one pops up, we'll skip this one. It should be the one after this, right? Yeah, here we go. Here's the Bruckner one. Those were the other two goals, which I guess I could have watched, but no, no, not a big deal. We only care about our players, and he won anyway. So there's Schmidt with the ball. Over to Brokner. He's going to shoot it from there. Whew. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, European Champions Cup dream team. We got Greiger. There's Holland, of course. We've got Carlos over here on the right. Gibbons, Lucas, Schmidt across the back, and Andrade as goalkeeper. Makes sense to me. I mean, there's a couple players that maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see one of these two. Moriba at PSG or Juventus uh, Stevens. You never know. Uh, Champions Cup award winners announced. Uh, goalkeeper of the season. Andrade got third. Interesting. Uh, defender of the season was Lucas. Good stuff. Schmidt. Actually, we got top three. We swept the top three. Uh, midfielder of the season was Taylor. Uh, and then forward of the season was Holland. Okay. Well, congratulations, Taylor. Good stuff there. Apparently, you're reserved. Okay, I'm sorry to congratulate you. And, oh, thank you. Dedicating your player of the, or the defender of the season to me. Uh, let's just check this real quick, because why not? Sure. They seem happy with that. Why do we only have, like, maybe this is just the players that are still around. Everybody else is already ducked out. You don't like that. Okay. Fine. We'll be a little bit less ambitious. I will discuss promises later. Have a great break. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Well, that's that. I don't know if any other awards come up, I will show those to you. But more than likely, the next thing you guys will see will be me interviewing or doing something related to another job. Let's check the job center real quick. Um, yeah, we're good here. So anything here that we care about? I mean, there's Renee. Definitely not expecting to go there. First division, Spain, not expecting to go there. So nothing at the moment. But we'll definitely keep our eyes peeled. Uh, any job security things that we could be kind of keeping an eye on? Um, Spanish second division. We don't care. Don't care. First division. Valencia. I mean, Valencia is not on my list, if I remember correctly. Atlanta is not on my list, really. Nothing here that looks like it's jumping out at me. Let me check first division again. I don't think it's... Yeah, I was going to say it's Madrid, Barcelona, and... It's the two Madrids in Barcelona, right? Team detailed. Oh, wrong one. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, the two Madrids in Barcelona. Um, Valencia. I mean, Valencia, if I had more time, could be a, a project that could get up there and win. Uh, I think I think 80 mil is still within range to potentially get something. But we want to try and do it faster. So we'd like to get one of these top three teams if at all possible. So we'll see. Um, all right. But yeah, like I said, we'll come back when there is something to come back to. All right. We are back. And uh, for me, if you can tell I have a different shirt on, this is a new day for me. Uh, I just finished up the international play that you guys saw over the last few episodes. Obviously, we did really, really well there. Uh, I do have one thing to talk about that in a minute, but we finally have a job offer in club play. Uh, it is February 5th of 2035, so we're a little bit more than halfway through the season. Uh, the team that we're going to, or about to potentially go to, we're going to go to it, I'll be honest with you, um, is not a bad team. It is not a bad team. It's not in trouble. The, the manager was not fired. Uh, this is actually the second job offer we've gotten in this offseason. The first job offer was from a little team called Manchester United. Now, they were having a little bit of trouble. I think they were down at sixth place. Um, you know, we, we actually got offered the job, and I turned down the job and walked away. 
Well, the good news about that walk away, obviously we didn't need to go to England. There was there was no point in going there. But the good news about that is that the manager for this other team that was doing well decided to go take that Manchester United job, which opened up a job at a really, really good team playing really, really well. Um, so let's get into this and see what it is. Barcelona in Spain, which fits because we are the World Cup champion manager here for Spain. I'm sure the fans are ecstatic to have their World Cup manager managing one of their teams. In fact, some of the other Spanish teams are probably jealous. I don't know how it works. But um, yeah, we, we are getting offered a pretty good deal here. I mean, the transfer budget is a little bit light, but we're already halfway through the season. So I'm not, not going to read too much into that. The wage budget looks pretty excellent to me. Uh, as far as the team wage budget, I, I don't care about my wage. That's kind of a secondary to all of this. Although 125,000 um, euros per week, I take that money right about now. Um, they want us to play attacking football, possession football, entertaining football, develop players using the club's youth system, play high tempo pressing football, which we definitely want to try and do, sign players under the age of 23, work within the wage budget, minimum four year contracts for first team players. Uh, minimum or maximum one year contract for players over the 33, two years for 31, three years for 29. All those are pretty standard. I mean, this is a lot of culture things that I'm not, you know, we don't normally see. We usually see a couple of these. Four of these that relate to how we're playing football is, is quite a few. Um, as far as end of current season, they want us to reach the quarterfinal of the Champions Cup. I don't really care, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, they want us to reach the, or they want us to challenge for the first division, which we definitely want to do. They want us to reach the final of the Spanish Cup. Could we win a Spanish Cup in our first half season with Barcelona? That would be awesome. And work towards becoming the most reputable team in Spain. And then starting next season, they want us to win the first division and continue winning from then on out and be the most reputable team in Spain, which obviously we definitely want to win. So uh, we only have to win it once, but we definitely want to win. So this this is actually an extremely good team. Could help us to finish Spain out very, very quickly. But yeah, we're definitely taking this job. There is no reason for us to not take it. You know what? I'm going to, just because it's a negotiation, why not? Obviously, they get mad at me. I'm going to be upset, but... Now nah, we got a little bit of more money out of them. I'm happy with that. Um, we actually got quite a bit more money out of them. But yeah, there you go, guys. We are now... Dun, 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 dun. The Barcelona managers. Why have eyebrows been raised? I'm literally one of the best managers in all of football right now. Come on now. How could eyebrows be raised? I, obviously, that's pretty standard. Um... Very good reputation. Currently, media prediction is second. Obviously, we want to try and push for first if we can. Founded in 1899. Wow. But, uh, I mean, it's going to be a little interesting because we're going to have to be take over somebody else's team. This is not our team that we're coming into, but I'm not too worried about it. Anybody here that we really... Uh, Stevanovic, right? We've played with him before, but uh, other than that, nothing else that I can see. Um, nothing here we care about. Obviously, all that is standard. Confirm. Breuer takes charge at Barcelona. Not half bad. Um, Treor, 34 years old. Want to bring him in as an impact sub. Yeah, sure. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. Might as well take care of a couple of our existing players where we can. Especially if they're decent. Try to save us a little bit of money here. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it does add up. I and mean, when you're doing like 20, 30 players, every little bit you can get helps you get that one more player down the road. All right. Uh, we'll delay the rest of the decisions. I'm okay with that. Play time, that's fine. Youth intake, potentially good. We'll see. Competition review. We'll come back to that here in a moment. Social feed, we'll go ahead and accept all that. Players currently unhappy. I'm happy with agreed playing time. We'll have to deal with that here in a moment. Once a new contract, once initially agreed. Play. Okay. Well, a lot of that is not my fault. Uh, current captain captain is Delict. Uh, current vice captain is Garcia. I don't see any reason to change those, so we'll go with that. Um. So, before I get too carried away, we'll come back to this for a second. Let me take a quick pause and show you the Spanish situation. 
Uh, you might have seen it when I was looking at the other screen because it said it at the very top of the screen. But if you did notice, we are in the champions uh, qualifying, right? Um, we are so we're we're in the obviously the qualifying is coming up for the champions. Uh, European Championship, sorry. And this is the one we need. This is the other one we need. We got the World Cup. Now we need the European Championships. And in the European Championships, the team that we're playing, first up is England. We got, we drew England in our group. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what, 10 groups? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 groups. And the number one and the number four team in all of football right now, all of Europe, are in the same group. That is extremely unfortunate. I would love to have been down here in Group D. I would love to have been down here in Group J or you know any of these other groups. The only good thing about this is that if we knock out England, which we have to to get past this, well, that's one less top four team that we have to face later. But in theory, uh, if with all the way the groups are set up, you could potentially not face any of those top four teams, top five teams, if they get knocked out by some, you know, other team that just rises up to the occasion. But anyway, so it's going to be an interesting run here. Um, first game up against England here in about two months, I believe. So we'll we'll talk about that more later, but I just wanted to show you that, that that is going to be tough for sure. All right, back to Barcelona. Um... Let's go take a quick look at their squad. Now, some injury risk. Actually, let me check their, where are they at in the competitions. They are second. Ooh, a full 11 points behind Atletico Madrid. That is going to be tough ground to make up on. I mean, we'll just have to do the best we can at this point. I'm not, I'm not going to stress it too much. This first season in, they're not going to expect us to do, obviously, super, super well. But, um, yeah, that's going to be tough to bounce back from. And we're only neck and neck with Real San Sebastian. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, European Champions Cup, we are playing PSG. It looks like in the first knockout round coming up in a bit. I do not care. The team, the man, uh, the club cares, obviously. And so I still need to do well, but I obviously personally do not care. Looks like we're playing Real Madrid in the Spanish Cup quarterfinal. So that's going to be a tough team. Uh, they're not playing super well right now, but should still be a tough team. Obviously, we expect Real Madrid to still be a pretty good team overall. If we can get past them, though, they're still... Obviously, this is Barcelona. There's there's no reason why we couldn't win the Spanish Cup our first time out. We shall see. Actually, it looks like we lost to Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup at the beginning of the season. So that is pretty telling. Uh, as far as schedule, anything here that we could look at? We lost to Real San Sebastian pretty early on. Rest of Villarreal pretty early on. We drew to... Man, we're not... We are not playing. How do you draw to Tenerife? How does Barcelona draw and lose to some of these teams? Oh, look, they lost to Borussia Mönchengladbach in the Champions Cup. It's arguable to say that they're... Actually, the Super Cup was not that far away. Um, it's arguable to say that they're a worse team than Borussia Mönchengladbach that we just came from. How did that team go, by the way? Um, Sarmiento, Lacqua, and Mount all scoring goals. I <laughs> love seeing some of our old players doing good stuff. How are they doing right now? Second in the Bundesliga. Right behind FC Byron, back into good form again. Good to see them there. Hertha Berlin dropping down, but no. Good luck, Borussia Mönchengladbach. We'll hope we'll, we'll we'll cheer you on a little bit as long as we're not playing against you directly. Um, so let's go look at the squad. Actually, before we look at the squad, let me find a staff person who I can use their playing ability judgment on. Uh, looks like Malero here. Malero. Let's let me go into you. Set nickname. Just add a couple stars here so I can know that you are the one I want to look at. All right. Squad depth. Mr. Malero will... Where'd you go? Oh, can we not use you? That's unfortunate. Huh. Okay. Never mind. Um, well, let's go back to staff and find somebody else then. I hate that that's a thing. Weird that we can't use our head performance analyst. Uh, remove nickname. That's fine. Then we will use... Man, none of these guys are that good. Perez, maybe? Sure. Definitely need to get us a better, uh, better person here, I feel like. Are we able to use any of the youngster guys? By any chance? 
we definitely have more coaching staff avail availability here. So hopefully we can get a new person coming in here. Honestly, I'm not going to mark this person because I'm hoping we get another person here soon. So we'll just we'll just remember Perez here and hopefully we can look at him. Oh, it's still not going to be great. All right, Perez. All right. So here we go. Oh, we got Fadi. Ansu Fadi is, is at this team. Awesome. That is great to see. Obviously, we're very familiar with him from our World Cup run. Let's go to all positions. See what we've got. We've got a couple, but Baldwin. We've used, we've seen Baldwin. Where have we seen Baldwin before? Ah, New, Newcastle. Yeah. Were we there when we had Baldwin? Yeah, we were there, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I remember the name, obviously. I just, yeah, we, I, I, I vaguely remember Baldwin. Oh, he's the guy that I think he was on the attacking midfield. I think we played him on the left hand side over here, didn't we? And then we sold him to Chelsea. I vaguely feel, remember some of that. Um, anybody else here that we absolutely recognize? Not really. I mean, I've heard of Delict's name thrown around a bit, but I mean, 35 years old. But wow, our goalkeeping situation is not good. Not good at all. Eric Garcia, I remember him, don't I? Hmm. Maybe I just maybe I did some searching for him at one point, or maybe I just remember him from the Spanish team or something like that. All right. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about this. We've got two really good strikers, three potential, potentially like decent ones. Um, although if we use Baldwin on the wing, then that's one less striker. Illich here as a attacking midfielder, probably Pau or Treor on the right-hand side, although it looks like we could probably use a little bit of an improvement there. Midfielder is not super great. And if we play Illich up there, Kukulis down back here, although Illich could also play as a defensive midfielder. Honestly, the formation we've used a lot which is the, uh, what would it be called? The four, it's not the four, five, one, no, it's definitely not that. Uh, four, one, three, two, DM? No, well, it is this, but with these guys moved up. That's the one we've been using for, actually, that's the one we ran the World Cup with. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it in here. We'll have to put it. In. We'll have to plug it in into our tactics. In fact, we can go ahead and do that now. Actually, uh, load a tactic. If we load, it was the Zaz Blue one that we've been running. If we load this, then we go back to the squad depth. That's not it. I'm sorry. That's the wrong tactic. Wrong tactic. It is the. It's not strikerless. What have we been running? Oh my goodness. I thought it was this one. No, that's right. That is the right tactic. Oh, I'm a dummy. I'll be all right, guys. I, I went, went back to this thing and it would just load up that first tactic. No, it's still showing up. The DM one that we had. There we go. So this is actually not bad. We got Fadi. We got Baldwin up here, maybe. Or again, like we could put Baldwin back here. Although Treyor can play back there. Pal can play over here. We can play Illich here, maybe. With Delict behind him, although Delict is our best central defender. Um, oh, Kumbala. We've seen Kumbala before. Yeah, Newcastle. Good stuff. So we have we have some decent p potentials here. We definitely, definitely, definitely have to get a better goalkeeper. That is absolutely mandatory. And I don't know if this is the formation we'll go with, quite frankly. Um, it has worked really, really well for us in other situations. But I might play around with it a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys a quick initial view of the team. And I'm going to go play around with this for a little bit. I'm going to go play. Wow, I really want to show you guys the quarterfinal here. Yeah. You know what we're going to do? We're going to play with this play tactic for right now. We're going to go play the quarterfinal real quick in this episode. It's going to make this episode a little bit long, but let's just go ahead and knock out that quarterfinal just to see kind of what we're looking at. And then... After that, I will play around for formation, see if there's maybe a better thing that would fit us a little bit better. But we've got to put something in here for this first one. We know this formation works really, really well. Let's start with this, and then we'll go from there. So I'll be right back for the quarterfinal matchup against uh, Real Madrid. Sorry, I just suddenly forgot who we're playing. Yeah, Real Madrid. We'll be right back.
All right, we are back for our game here against uh, Real Madrid. A um, little bit of injury trouble, so a few concerns here. Uh, Baldwin's injured, so he's out. Um, Yilmaz here, I don't know how much he's played. He's out, but Illich, Illich is injured. We did give him some injections to try to get him through this game if we can bring him in, because obviously we might need him. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I guess this is what it is. This is... I mean, Fadi is so good, he makes everybody else look bad. Delict, Fadi and Delict, that's it. Uh, I think Illich is probably up there too if he was in this in this setup, but everybody else just looks bad by comparison. So we definitely have some work cut out for us to improve the team overall. But let's get into this match, see if we can get one over here on Real Madrid. It would be so huge uh, if we could get this Spanish Cup knocked out first season in. Real Madrid, that's fine. I have a feeling this is going to be an extremely tough game, though. Extremely tough. Guys don't know the formation that well. <laughs> They're not getting used to me. Um, they already lost to Real Madrid, I think, once this season, right? So we don't have the best goalkeeper. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to work on. This is a great team in spirit and in theory, but in actual fact, not so great. There's Fadi, though. I mean, this is our guy. This is our star player right here. Fadi turns around, gets it back to Treor. Treor, uh, he's going to get it back over to Fadi. Fadi over to Dis uh, Tassel, or Tasley, sorry. Dennis Tasley. How old is Fadi? 32. Oof. We may have him for another year, maybe two. His time is definitely numbered, though. The one, probably one of the few things that's bad about having a player that's on both on your national team and your club team is that an injury in one affects the other, obviously. So we got to be careful with him here in our league play so that we don't injure him for our international play because we need him for both. Come on, guys. Man, we got so many players we got to get. We got to get, we got to, we got so much work to do here. If we want to get more players of, Body's caliber. Oh, guys. Why? I mean, we're playing well, and then you give up a penalty. That's just dumb play. Man, I can't believe we're, we end up losing with because of a penalty. That's always an extremely disappointing way to lose a game. All right, come on, guys. Shake it off. Another highlight here for... All right, well, like I said, we got a work cut out for us. Um, I mean, this game's obviously not over yet, but it's looking not great. So we, we've got some stuff to do. Get another highlight here already, though. Can we get one back? If we get one back, I still got hope for us this game. If not, then I don't know, but I don't know. Go down halftime, down two, two goals. It's a really hard mountain to overcome. There's Fadi getting all the way over to the corner. He's going to kick it all the way across to Pow. Pow turns around, gets into the other corner now. He's going to get it across to Treyarch. Cho! Yes. Getting one back. That's what I like to see. All right, let's keep it up. It's good. Good play there. Good play. I mean, other than the penalty we gave up, we're looking relatively even. There's a deep throw in. I was going to say, that's super, 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 super dangerous. Man. Another throw in a little bit less deep, thankfully. Sure are this time. Back to Tasley. Over to nobody, though. Come on, guys. 
Up here they come. Come on, guys. Kamavinga. We have seen him before as well. Man. Well, we get a little bit of something here. We got we got to get one back here real quick, real quick. So Emmings with the deep kick. Tasley's there to Treo or Treo to Fadi. Body gives it up. Dude. Oh, there we go. Good takeaway back from Treyor. Treyor's going to get it to Fadi. Fadi, go for goal. Yes, Fadi. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That gave, made up for your little mistake there, my friend. One goal down. Can we get this back? Such a tight, tight window there. All right, Trevor is getting really tired. Who can we bring on for you, my friend? The only other guy we got is somebody who's injured. Um, can we bring? We can bring Warts over, right? Because then we can play Illich here. I think we might need Illich to come in. I was hoping to kind of rest him if he, you know, he's I got an injury there, but we really need to try and get something on this game. There's Castro throwing the ball in. Cho's there. Back to Pau. Castro again. Over to, uh, what is your name? Kukulis. Tazley now with the ball. Makes a little bit of a move. Here we go. Here we go. He's going to be able to get it inside. There's Wirtz. Maybe Vert, something like that works. Kukulis. Castro again with the ball. He's getting covered pretty healthy. Kukulis. Oh, what a... That was a good one. That was a good one. Looked like it was on target, so the goalkeeper had to make a move. We are going to get a corner kick here. Corner kick comes in. Illich with the corner. Ooh, too, too bad there. Come on. Castro should be able to chase that one down, but that is probably going to be the end of that highlight, I would expect. It is, in fact. Another corner kick the other direction. That was... Close. Come on. All right. Uh, let's get Kukulis out of here. Looks like Ivan can come in. Nothing else. It's fresh legs and not a yellow card. Come on, guys. So close to drawing this back up. The highlight here from Real Madrid. Oh, we got a little bit of a takeaway. I thought for a second there, maybe. At least he got his foot in there. But here they come. Oh, here they come, guys. Defend this. Is that the Bella we've seen before? Oh, Pow gets for Oh, good plow. Castro went out with the ball. Gets it over to Ivan. Nope, oh, we're too deep, though. Come on, guys. Be careful. Deep kick up. Cho is there. Not able to get Oh, Pow's able to come up with it, though. Gets it to Cho. Cho, he's got some guys helping him. Fadi. We've drawn it back up. We've got a little bit of momentum. Can we do some magic here? Oh, come on, guys. Can we make the magic happen here at the end?
Don't know. The Lick's playing poorly, but he's such a good player. I feel like we just got to leave him in there and hope he turns something around here. Pow. Pow's pretty tired. Let's bring Yusuf in here. Let's just get some fresh legs in here. Come on, guys. Ten minutes left. You know, we don't have a lot of yellow cards. I'm going to go a little crazy here. Turn on get stuck in. If we can get disrupted just a little bit here. Last couple minutes. Maybe we can make something happen here. It's just a link over to Eric. Eric to Ivan. Ivan to Illich. Illich to Fadi. Fadi. Go for oh, I thought he was going to turn around. Go for it. Go right there. Tazley, though, picks up the ball. He gets it across. There's Yusuf. So close. Tazley gets back over to Fadi. Just bouncing around all over the place. And nothing going in. Let's oh. go extra time. Just go penalties. I actually don't know. No, 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 like this, not like this, not like this, not like this, no. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, highlights continuing. I'm actually a little surprised here. There's Fadi with the ball. Gets it over to Illich. Illich up to Cho. Cho, stop him for a second. He gets it over to, oh, bad play. Bad play. Eric is back there. He's going to get it down to Tasley. Tasley. Over to Ivan. Ivan up to Illich to Cho. To Cho gets it to... Tries to get it to Fadi. Couldn't get it to him. Highlight still going on. I don't like this. This is looking kind of nervous. Ivan... Or I'm nervous. <laughs> this is not looking nervous. <laughs> this is making me nervous. Eric up to Ivan. Ivan... Cho is there. Man. What is going on with this highlight, guys? Emmings. I feel like I remember that name, too. I don't think it's one we've played with, is it? I think it's one we've seen. Like, we, we looked at recruiting. Castro gets it down to Illich. Illich back to Castro. Castro to Cho. Cho, can we make some magic happen in the last few seconds here? Or is it just going to be... Oh, it was just... That was it. We've got the momentum, I feel like. But... We have our work cut out for us. Alright, a little bit of inspiration from that. People are tired, though. People are exhausted right now. They've... They've... Fought as hard as they can. Can we... Oh, Tazu. Or Tazley is, is so extremely exhausted. But so is half their team. Corner kick coming in from Illich. Come on, let's get something here. Delict. Oh, I thought that was going in. Oh, I thought that was going in. It, when every time you see the, the net wiggle a little bit, you know, you know something was almost happened. All right. One last sub here. Man. Everybody is so exhausted. Hosley's playing so well. Castro playing really, really well. Wirtz, Wirtz here playing really, really well. Let me Castro out. Bring Max Aaron's in. We just need something fresh here. Uh oh, we're getting a highlight. Fadi with the ball. There's uh, Cho with the, picking that one up. Is this an actual highlight or is this just because I just did a sub? Yusuf, we got so many yellow cards. Okay, I think we need to turn off since we are playing for, um, come on, give me my instructions. Since we're playing for, um, potentially penalties here, let's just, let's just turn off, get stuck in now. We're back drawn up, so we're okay. Okay, penalty shoot up. Oh, okay, let's start with... I mean, if Tazley's confident, we'll bring Tazley into here. I'm going to make Fatty go last. Fatty go last. Um, if Yusuf is positive, too, I'm tempted to bring him in over Cho. I mean, give these guys a chance. If they're looking like they are they got this, they're they're excited. Uh, we'll bring Verts in here. And we'll bring Illich in here. Body can go last. Let's have our best penalty shooter for last. I mean, our goalkeeper's looking positive. We'll go with this, and then we'll let it play out however from there. It's okay. If we don't get it, we played hard. I mean... No regrets, guys. No regrets. 
I hate the, the fact that I think their goalkeeper is better than ours. I'm not feeling super confident about this. On Tasley. On Tasley. Oh my goodness. That confidence that you had, that positivity you had, was not true. I got one. I can't believe Tesla missed. Come on, goalkeeper. You got to get something here. Oh, I thought he almost had that one. I thought he had that one. He did almost have that one. <laughs> verts, 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 verts. Well, that's it. We did, we did a good job. We tried. But just not enough in the end. Definitely need to get a better goalkeeper. Definitely need... We got we got to work that out for us, guys. It's unfortunate we didn't get to win the cup this first year in, but... It's okay. I mean, I realize it's technically not over, but for all intents and purposes, it is. Tiny little, little just bloop. Not much power behind that one. Will our goalkeeper make some sort of miraculous save here? Nope. What could have been? We played way better than they did. And what did it come down to? That penalty shot at the very beginning of the game, like I told you. Ah, uh, we should have won that one. Well, cups out. That's it, guys. Cup is done. Like I said, we definitely have a work cut out for us. I mean, the board's not going to be happy with that. They want us to reach the final, but I mean, we just joined the team. Surely they give us a little bit of a break. But like I said, we got to work cut out for us. I got to go figure out what actual formation we're going to end up using. Um, I'm probably not going to show very many of these games, to be perfectly honest. I will probably show you guys probably the Real Madrid matchup here on here. We'll probably get through the rest of this month on my own. I'll show you the Real Madrid, probably Espanol or something like that matchup down here. Maybe I'll do the Real, so San Sebastian, skip Espanol and show Real Madrid. Something of that nature. And we'll go from there. But it's going to be a short season. That's okay. Uh, and then we'll start rebuilding or start building up for uh, what we actually hope to accomplish next season. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.